It's 615 later this summer. You'll see these dockless electric scooters all around Portland. The city is expected to sign off on the use of these scooters for a four month trial period. So this setup will work like bike town. You'll be able to use these scooters just by activating your phone. Some cities across the country already have them. As NBC's Liz McLaughlin reports, there are a few kinks that still need to be worked out with these new programs. Electric scooter companies such as Bird, Lime and Spin are hoping to be the future of transportation and green mobility. Once you use it, you definitely uh, enjoy the convenience of it. Users unlock the scooters with the smartphone app. It'll unlock, paying about $1 to start and 15 cents a minute after that. These scooters are pretty fun and they can fly up to 15 miles an hour. But you're supposed to wear a helmet when you ride them and most riders are in my position. They either don't have a helmet with them or don't have one at all. Helmets are recommended in Charlotte, North Carolina where we were riding, but it's a law in many other markets where the scooters operate. It does say to have a helmet. I've never seen anyone have a helmet. The apps have safety instructions for users encouraging scooters to stay on roadways, but not all riders follow those rules. People are going really fast on the sidewalks and in some instances aren't paying attention. Other public safety scooter concerns have come up in some cities. Intoxicated driving, irresponsible parking, and close calls with pedestrians. Well, that's the kind of behavior that we're not going to accept. Leading officials in some cities to tap the brakes on scooter programs. San Francisco, Nashville, and Denver have temporarily banned the scooters, while Los Angeles is placing caps on the number of vehicles allowed, growing pains for a new technology. With any new new product, really, you'll have, uh, you know, users just try to figure out things on their own, and, and we, we have to do our better job of educating people. A learning curve that could determine whether electric scooters are a fad or the future. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. So Oregon is one of the states that requires all e-scooter riders to wear helmets. We don't know exactly when, though, scooters will start popping up in Portland. Peabot has only told us that it would be sometime in the summer. A spokesperson told our news partners at the Oregonian they haven't decided yet if the e-scooters uh, e will be permanent either or if this will just be a temporary program.